Whiskey, Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. And today I have Teeling Whiskey Birthday Batch. Yay! This is a double cask Irish whiskey celebrating the sixth anniversary of the Teeling Distillery. This was from 2015 up until 2021. This is cast strength at 56.6%. And I have bottle 199 from 600. So I actually opened mine up. And I'm going to try this now and review it. First of all, I have to commend um, Irish um, Teeling Irish Whiskey here for the sending. Ordered on Friday, Monday it was here. I'm talking about from Dublin all the way over here to Germany. Over the weekend, bam, DHL Express makes it happen. Now the price, 86 euros. Um, this bottle sold out within, I don't know if it was 24 or 48 hours, but it's gone um, on Monday that I'm actually doing this. Op opened the package today, waited until um, I was done with work, boom, did my review now, putting it up online the next day so that we have this and we can know more about it. Um, yeah. So that was very, very, very nice. Now, what we have here is a vatting of two casks. It says so here we have the nice little picture here of the single pot still, and we have here of the single malt. I might have got them exactly opposite. Now, what's missing on this, I must admit, I'm a little bit mm, confused slash disappointed. There's no age statement. Nowhere on this bottle does it say this is a six-year-old whiskey. It says it's celebrating the sixth year anniversary. All right. And so um, just last night in my live stream in German, I was talking with a guy. And he said, oh, I just love Teeling whiskey. I said, have you ever had a Teeling whiskey? He says, Jason, of course, I have all these bottles. I said, have you ever had a whiskey produced in Dublin by Teeling? He was like, well... And to be very honest, I have this, and this was also something that I must admit that I have a little bit of a, <coughs> not a problem with it. Now, this is batch number three. So what Teeling basically did, now correct me if I'm wrong, Teeling, is you basically um, used us Europeans as a little bit of as a guinea pig. So you had batch one, was a big hype thing. There was a launch over here in Europe. You did batch two, you changed the um, recipe of this. Batch three, you changed it again. And there was no batch four because what did you do after learning from your, um, uh, your product reviews here in Europe, and especially also a lot of it was done in Germany, you um, perfected batch number four and you didn't call it batch four. You just sent over the single pot still whiskey to America. America is one of the markets you want to have the most of. I can understand that. But a little bit of that bad aftertaste was left for me as being a guinea pig. And I must admit that batches one, two, and three were fairly young and a little bit too young um, for my tasting, especially for pot still. So that's one thing that is a little bit, I like teeling. I was at the distillery. I like the people. I like the product. I like the, the vision. I like uh, Jack teeling. I like John teeling, the papa, the daddy, and so on. Beautiful, beautiful things, and I want to like this. But sometimes, especially like this is a whiskey celebrating the sixth anniversary, you automatically think, oh, this must be a six-year-old whiskey. Well, I'm sorry. I would have liked to have known what the cask was from the single malt and from the single pot still. Put it on the website. Now, why do I want to know this? I'm a geek. I'm a whiskey nerd. We want to know this information. We want to know when it was bottled. We want to know when it was, when it was um, distilled. We want to know what type of cask it was. So we have 600 bottles. So 600 divided by 0 0.7 means that you actually had 420 liters. So um, 420 liters means it was either a, um, can't be too bourbon hogshead because you didn't have enough room in them, plus the angel share. It might have been two, um, two bourbon barrels. It couldn't have been big, big enough for that. It might have been two bourbon hogshead. It might have been a sherry cask. It might have been a barrique. Um, it might have been a bourbon plus something else. We don't know. And this information is what geeky people want to know today. It's called transparency. I know Teeling says they're transparent. And sometimes they are more transparent than other places. But, and this is talking as a nerd, as a whiskey geek, and we are the people that bought these 600 bottles. 
Or at least we're the people that bought these 600 bottles and opened them to taste them and not just to put on a shelf and say, here, my, uh, my collection, and they're going to just collect dust for the next 20 years. Um, we want to know what type of casks, the filling dates, and so on. There's no problem putting it on for two of these. At least put on the website, if at all possible. All right, so I must admit now, after ranting and raving, beautiful, beautiful bottle. It's, gl it's high gloss. Um, you have the Phoenix here, very, very nice, uh, well done. Um, it just says on the back the same information, extra special vacting of Dublin distilled single pot still and single malt. Very, very nice. So Teeling um, Whiskey Birthday Batch. And on the front, it just says here, vacting cast number, and this is great, we have the number of the casks. Um, 36676 and 49499. Now, if somebody can give me some information of those two casts, I would love it. Write it down below. That's the type of information we want to have. And um, Alec, um, he distilled this. Thank you very much for doing that. Thank you very much for, you, for actually allowing this. So it has a little bit of the assumption this might be a six-year-old whiskey. No mention whatsoever. And the other thing that I kind of feel a little bit... <sighs> a little bit not told the truth is, for example, the phrase teeling single grain. Teeling has three pot stills. They cannot make grain at the teeling distillery in Dublin. And yet one of their products that they have is a teeling single grain. So they're always going to source that whiskey from their father, Great Northern Distilleries. Um, it belongs to the Teeling family, but it does not belong to the Dublin Teeling Distillery. And to use that brand name also in the future for something that you will never produce there, um, it just gives me the feeling of not being 100% honest and transparent. Me, personally, gives me the feeling. All right? Think about it. Let's see what happens. All right, so over here we have batch number three. Um, this was the 2019 version. Here we have, I don't know, this is the birthday batch. And if you look at the color, first of all, you'll see how light this is. This was much darker. So we had some, raw, some red wine casks in there. We might have actually had some virgin oak. There is a list where I could go online and find out the casks um, um, that were used here. Here, I don't even have that information. Um, this is only only 46%. This is non-chill filtered. Wonderful, wonderful. This was made in Dublin. Yay. This was made in Dublin and this is cast strength. This is the 40, that's sorry, the 56.6%. So um, let's nose it on the nose. Interesting. I get a little bit of a tropical moment. I'm talking about the star fruit is what I'm getting first of all. Um, some of the of a little bit of a barley moment and I'm getting a tiny tiny little bit of an herbal type of moment and, uh, the herbal is a little bit more of the towards a um, um, oregano or maybe even a rosemary so interesting over here the batch three ooh, not my not my cup of tea me and me and the pot stills were never friends sorry with the pot stills and I were never friends. All right. Um, just looking at the legs here. Okay, good. Let's try it. 56.6%. Mm. It's hot. I'm getting a little bit of an end, which is not, it's not a fruity, delightful moment. It's, mm, it's soggy porridge with some fruit in it and some spice. All right. So before I rant and rave some more, um, I must commend um, the Teeling Distillery. Uh, in uh, German, I have, I'm called Whiskey Jason, and I am honest, I am independent, and I'm uh, socially um, active, which means I do a lot of charity work, or charitable would be actually the translation here. So it's um, honest, independent, charitable. So um, this year alone, I'm going to gather mm, almost 30,000 euros for different charities here, which is not bad, to be honest. 
Um, they actually have said that um, with this bottling, all the profits from this bottle, not all the revenue, but all the profits at least, will be donated to local charities that actually support um, kids and teenagers in the Dublin area that have particularly been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. The very first 100 bottles from the um, single pot still that Teeling did, um, the, all that money also went to charities. I think it was, I think it was 100 bottles. I'm not sure. I think it was. Um, excellent. Um, from every tour that is done at the distillery, they'd give a small portion of that money to a charity. I think that's absolutely great. It says here, since opening the distillery, we have focused on giving back to our local community with a percentage of our tours, tours and the pre pro proceeds from our very first bottling in Dublin distilled um, Teeling Whiskey being gifted to local charities. Excellent, excellent. Wonderful, wonderful. And I must admit that is actually what we should be doing. I hope that all whiskey tubers out there are doing something charitable. We have a great group of people and whiskey um, can be used to auction it off and so on for a good purpose, for donating to a good charity. Please, please, please think about that. And Teeling is there for, with this, um, a, um, a role model, a role model for other um, Irish distilleries as well as other distilleries worldwide. All right, so what I'm going to do is, this whiskey just might be too strong for me and my palate today. And so I'm going to dilute it down to about 48% and see what happens. Um, I l really like the single malt from Teeling. was not made in Dublin, not yet. In a couple of years, it will be hopefully that uh, there. Um, okay, on the nose, it gets a little bit better. I have more of that fruitiness, maybe a little bit of peaches coming through as well. Very, very nice. Um, this is for me. Now, if I had a, a red breast, 12 year old cast strength comparison, I would go, wow. I, I, I just really, really enjoy the red breast 12 um, uh, cast strength. It's a single pot still whiskey, which means unmalted barley and malted barley together. This is a mixture of a cask of single pot still, unmalted malted, plus a cask of single malt, 100% malted barley. Triple distilled at Dublin. I assume that this was also triple distilled, both of these casks. Information like that would be great because I do know there have been some, some experiments where they only double distilled. Not many, but some experiments, so who knows what that is. All right, um, let's try this here. Mm -hmm. Still a little bit hot. Could have put a little bit water, more water in there. This is a whiskey which I'm going to say is nothing to write home about. I'm sorry. I wanted to love this whiskey. I wanted to say the best whiskey I've ever had um, from Dublin. I don't know if I can or not. There's a little bit of a musty type of um, moment towards the end, as I, I called it originally, um, um, soggy porridge. Um, it's got some fruit in there. It's, 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 it's getting there. So this is a C minus a C whiskey. Um, ah, maybe a C. All right, I'm going to give it a C. I'm going to be nice. All right, the palate does develop, so meh, the finish is actually developing. Um, it's much better than this. Uh, but it's still not there where I hoped Teeling to be. Now, if I have a birthday party, I'm going to pull out some of my best whiskey bottles and share them with my friends. If Teeling has a birthday and they pull out a birthday batch, I hope, I assume, making an ass of you and me, um, that they take the two best casks that they have and they marry them together. And then they present it to us. Um, if those were the two best casks, I'm a little worried about the future of Teeling. Because it's developing, but it's not developing exactly where I had hoped. I've had, I don't know if it's a six-year-old, five-year-old, four-year-old, three-year-old whiskey. I've had five-year-old whiskeys that taste better than this. Much better than this. And uh, that's the question of what are we going to get in the future from Teeling. What, are we co what can we expect and what it's going to be? All right, um, value for money, they could have charged 150 euros for this bottle. 
I think I might have actually recommended charging 150 euros if all the profits are going to charity anyways. Um, the bottle sold out within hours, if not uh, within days, if not hours. Um, 600 bottles on the Irish and European, uh, the world market, a drop in the bucket. Come on, you could have done 6,000 bottles and it would have, been, would have still been sold out within a week, if not a month, I think. Um, but that's something special here. And I'm very happy that the money is going to be donated here to these church children and youth organizations there. Um, there's charities, the clubs, the initiatives um, that have been particularly affected during the COVID-19 pandemic. For, um, for me, the value for money is a D um, for the taste. Now, the uniqueness of this bottle. Sometimes I give a special little rating for uniqueness. This is an A+. This is one of 600 bottles. They are numbered. Thank you very much. The label is numbered. Um, this is unique. This is something, a celebration. This is great. Now, you can. many people ask, Jason, how, is the, how has the bottle developed? I don't do that. I'm sorry. I open it. I taste it. I share the bottle. So what I've done is I've actually offered my almost 500 um, fans that are signed up now for my different um, bottle share programs, three CLs each. And they're going to get that, and they're going to try it at home as well, just the three CLs. So as many people as possible, 22 different people are going to be trying from this bottle and going to, I'm going to have a bottle share, and so I don't have anything left. And um, that's the way I do that. So I don't know if it will be with, after a month or even a year, it will be totally different. Within a week or two, the bottles are all filled, and this bottle goes into the, oh, the, um, the, the glass container. That's the way things work with me. That's the way I rumble. All right, so going over here real quick, the 46%. This is just absolutely not my cup of tea. Sour. Green. Yucky. <laughs> even woody um, I'm happy that I experimented and I got it hopefully right for the future with their um, batch single bolt single pot still for the states oh well so this is me this is whiskey Jason I gave this a C I gave this a D for the value for money and I gave it an A plus for uniqueness thank you very much Teeling for doing this thank you very much for offering it online thank you very much for sending it over within basically um, from Friday to Monday that I could put my video up on the Tuesday <coughs> And thank you very much for a great bottle design. And thank you very much for donating the profits here to your charities. My hope and my desire and my dream is that future bottles of Teeling will be more up my alley, more what I would like to have. Um, but I am absolutely 100% certain that there is going to be much improvement in the future. Thank you very much for watching. My question of the day is what other celebrity um, not celebrity, uh, celebration, <coughs> excuse me, celebration bottles do you know of? Um, Blattnoch, um, 200 year anniversary bottle. Uh, Johnny Walker, this year, 200 year anniversary bottles. What other anniversary bottles do you know of out there? This is the six year anniversary bottle. What other anniversary bottles? Write it down in the chat. Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany. All the best. Bye bye.